What are nutrients? What are macronutrients? That's what we're talking about today on Homeschool Arcade. So let's check it out. What are nutrients? For that matter, what are macronutrients? Well, nutrients in the body are substances that our body needs to function and to stay healthy. They give us energy and our bodies can't make these things on its own. So we get the nutrients needed from the food that we eat. Now, there are many different nutrients we need and they're found in many different kinds of foods. So what do we need to know about nutrients? Well, there are actually two main types of nutrients. There's macronutrients, those that our body needs a lot of, and, well, the opposite, micronutrients, which, like its name suggests, we only need small amounts. Micronutrients are substances such as vitamins and minerals. And today, we're gonna focus on, well, the bigger of the two, the macronutrients. Now, there are, get this, four main groups of macronutrients. There's carbohydrates, fats, also known as lipids, protein, and, well, water. So first, let's talk about carbohydrates a bit. Well, carbohydrates, we, you know, we call them carbs. And I'm sure a lot of us have heard of the, that carbs are bad. And this is a myth warning, huge myth. But in fact, we can't live without carbs. They are the main source of our body's energy. And additionally, they're very important to keep our hearts and our nervous system and our kidneys working properly. Now, major sources of carbohydrates, it includes things like grains, milk, fruits, vegetables, particularly starchy ones like corn and potatoes. The catch is though, not all carbs are created equal. They're not put together all in the same way. So like there's simple carbohydrates and these are the ones we need to be careful of. These are the ones like sugar and white flour and other processed grains like um, what's been inserted into sugary breakfast cereals, donuts, cookies, white bread, traditional pasta. Mmm, yum. But no, no, give you a quick, they give you a quick burst of energy, but they're used up really fast. And this causes the sugar in our blood to spike up and crash down. And when our blood sugars crashes, we feel tired. And we can even develop headaches and other symptoms as well. And unfortunately, our bodies take all this excess simple carbohydrates and it turns it into, well, fat. Now, the other types of carbs are complex carbohydrates. And they're found in foods such as, well, whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. They're slowly releasing. In other words, they take longer to digest and the energy is released slowly. Now, because of this, the energy won't run out as quickly in between meals. And there won't be any drastic spikes or crashes in our sugar level when we eat this type of foods. It remains a little more consistent. So it's easier for our bodies to handle it. Now, the next major group of nutrients is, well, fats. And fats are another nutrient that have gotten a bad rap. Another big old myth warning on this one. But the fact is fats, just like carbohydrates, are extremely important for many body functions. And one of the main purposes of fats is to store energy. They help your body to regulate its temperature and they help protect your organs and your nervous system. Some of the major sources of fat, well, yeah, they're butter, oil, meats, dairy products, nuts, seeds, and, and many other types of foods. But again, just like carbohydrates, there's also different kinds of fats. And some are better for you than you might think. So real quick, there are three main types of fats. We have unsaturated fats, saturated fats, and trans fats. Now, unsaturated fats are found in things like olive oils, some vegetable oils, avocados, seeds, and most nuts, and oily fish such as like tuna and salmon. Now, unsaturated fats are also broken down into three groups of their own, but we'll get into that on another video. Now, a lot of these unsaturated fats are quite good for you. But let's move on to the next group of fats, and that is saturated fats. And these kind of fats are found in meat and dairy products. 
they're good for you in moderate amounts, but you don't want to overdo it. And the final group is trans fats. Now trans fats are typically found in foods that we would label as junk foods, such as potato chips, french fries, fried foods in general, cookies, cakes, and mm, donuts. But trans fats are generally considered to be the worst type of fat for your body. Now, moving on from fats, we're gonna talk about the macronutrient protein. Our bones, our muscles, our organs, our immune system, and our cells are mostly made of this. They're made of protein. And proteins are found in things like meats and dairy and seafood and a variety of plants like soybeans and, and other types of beans. And the last macronutrient, well, it's water. Now, unlike these other nutrients, water has no calories, but water makes up 60% of our bodies and it's needed by every cell, tissue, and organ in your body. Without it, we simply can't survive. So it's necessary that we're constantly bringing good water into our body. So now we know a bit more about nutrients and their importance. And in order for our bodies to work properly, it is crucial for us to have all these nutrients in our diet in the right proportions. And by eating a good balance of different foods and avoiding those foods that have little to no nutritional value, we can help ensure that our bodies are getting all the nutrients that we need. So I hope that this has been helpful for you and that you've learned something from this video. And if you like this video and some of our content, go ahead and click like, subscribe, and the bell so you'll be notified every time we're coming out with something new. So y'all have a good one.